Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech and I'm back once again with the P10 friends. Today we're going to cut some fun acrylic keychains. So let's get cracking. All right, everybody, let's start with material. This is some thin acrylic. I bought sheets of it. It's about two millimeters thick. It's got the gold on the top and it's black inside. So we're gonna be able to cut this and engrave it and it'll look pretty sweet. All right, everybody, let's start by naming this file. I'm gonna save it as Let's Get Kraken Keychain and I'll store it in my 3D modeling folder. We're gonna build this with text. I'm gonna just click out here and let's type Let's and get, and then I'm gonna make more text down below. Kraken, exclamation point. I think I'm gonna get rid of that G just cause it's kind of fun. Let's get these aligned. I'm gonna select them both. Let's choose a line left. I'll move them over with the arrow keys. And now let's pick a font. Let's use candles, do that for both. One nice thing is after you use them, they show up up top under your recent. I'm going to get them nice and close. I'm going to stretch them so they fit. If you do control nudge, you can micro nudge to get them exactly where you want. I like that right there. Then I'm going to add a hole. So I'm doing shift select so it stays like a circle. That's eight millimeters. I know I want mine to be five. I'm gonna press enter. Do that for both. I'm gonna switch to my selection tool and I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. I know that my keychains always look like that. And you can see here, I'm starting at about 40. I always stop at seven centimeters. So I'm gonna do 110. And that's the size I like to keep mine. Now, if I'd have been really smart, I would have started with a rectangle and I would just made it 70 and 25 because those are my general numbers. And then I could just make sure that fits. I could also set it as a tool path. So it's just out there for us to look at while we're working. So I'm going to select those two. Uh, don't forget, you can go from right to left. So all you have to do is touch them. But you can see there, I got the tool path. Now I've just got those two. I'm going to shrink it in just a little bit more. And then friends, it is time to add the cool keychain shape. It is so simple. I'm selecting those three items. I'm doing tools and I'm doing offset shapes. Six is crazy huge. I'm gonna change that back to three. That, my friends, is pretty slick and is gonna make an epic keychain. All right, everybody, so I shrunk this so it fits inside my dimensions just a little better. I'm also gonna adjust this cut. Uh, so instead of 600, 100, I'm gonna make it 600 and I'm gonna make it 90 but I do want to do two passes. That looks like it's gonna fit pretty good. Now let's get it set up on the laser. All right, friends, so first things first, this has a protective cover. We do need to make sure we peel that off. Let's set the laser up for this material. Once again, it has got the sweet kickstand. Set that kickstand down, tighten it in. Bring the kickstand up and let's maneuver our material into place. Over here, I am going to hit frame. You can see I was way off. We're gonna nudge down using the move commands. Let's go down to left one. Let's hit frame again and see if we're closer. That is just a little bit below. So now I'm gonna use control to nudge up. I'm gonna try one nudge frame that is just off the material. I'm gonna do control up one more time and frame. Let's see if that stays on the edge. It missed just up in the top. So I'm gonna take my whole design and I'm gonna just make it a tiny bit smaller. So I'm just selecting all those pieces and I'm shrinking it a little bit because I want to make sure it stays on my material. 
one more time let's hit frame and see how that looks I think that was pretty darn fantastic friends it is time to grab the goggles and let's make an epic keychain Alrighty friends, moment of truth. Woohoo! That's great news when it falls out just like that. Oh my gosh. Golden black, let's get cracking. How cool is that? Alrighty friends, so there you have it. A fantastic little keychain in minutes using the P10 and the cool things that are built in to Lightburn. Friends, I am having a total blast with the P10, and if you're looking for more information, you'll be able to find it in the description below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.